Welcome back, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Let's talk about Event Leviathan. When DC brought in Bendis, he's the event guy at DC. I mean, when he started at, at Marvel, he was the indie guy mm-hmm. who was supposed to inject life and youthful exuberance into the titles, mm-hmm. or, or at least at least willful indie attitude. Okay. Like, Who's Hawkeye? Lame. Kill him. Spider-Man. There's a character. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, is this Um, the peeing in the bird fountain thing? Yeah. Nice. Bringing it back. But as his success grew, so too did his ambitions and Marvel's desire for money. Right. So Bendis wrote basically every event at Marvel up until a certain point. Yeah. Well, once he's like your best writer, then it's like, well, give the most important stuff to the best writer. Exactly. Well, he's he's already writing the tentpole titles that are telling you where the direction of the universe is going. You might as well do the event that culminates all that crap. Mm. So then he goes over to DC and he's doing a Superman book, which Superman hasn't been at the forefront of like an event. Like Superman has been a casualty of an event. He's mm. been the person who's who wins at the end of an event, but it's we haven't seen like a real Superman event okay. at DC in a long time. Mm. This isn't one either, but like <laughs> Bendis was working on Superman, so you know he's just by virtue of him working on Superman, he's not going to do an event. Or at the very least, he's not going to be able to pull his titles into the event. Mm. Well, I was wrong about that. He <laughs> sure did. Uh, but he also is like, you know, DC's like, well, you know, you're the event guy over at Marvel. And now you're the Superman guy, I guess, here. But, like, do an event. Do another event. Give, give us some of that yeah, sweet give Marvel us a, cash. Give us a Marvel Bendis event. Yeah! <laughs> now that you've been here, right. do it. Now do it. And uh, so he gave us Event Leviathan. It's got Event in the name. Which, like, made me gag when I first heard it. They were like, Event Leviathan. I'm like, don't call them Event. No, no, but in the universe, it is an event. Get it's it? It's called Event Leviathan. Yeah, no, and, and It's it an is. event for us, and it's an event for them. Yeah, yeah. it's warranted, but they it's They marked also it off like, on their calendar. <laughs> yeah, it just drives me nuts. I, I appreciate it. I understand the duality. It just sucks. <laughs> no, I, I just, get it. I get I it. Don't like I just it. don't like it. <laughs> I like the fact that Alfred has a calendar hanging up in the Wayne Manor kitchen. Of events. <laughs> and, like, the, nice the, the next week, he's just like, oh, Master Wayne, Event Leviathan's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better get ready. Because you're, you're also in, involved in this. Yeah, he's on the cover. He's on the cover. Don't the get excited. No. It's like, this we got to put Batman on the cover yeah, so people You have Batman and Green Arrow again. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> in and Bendis is Batman. And Shack. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's the question. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? And I'll, I'll bring this up now because when, when is it going to come up? There's a, there's a story arc in the question where question is reading Watchmen and then decides to become Rorschach. <laughs> what? What? Literally, he's like, I wonder if Blue Beetle can rig me one of those masks that moves. And then, and then well before the movie, like well before wow. all the, you know, it was just this weird one or two part event. He's more ruthless and yeah. scary <laughs> and it ultimately almost gets him killed. Does, yeah. does anyone ever say, yeah. knock it off, you're being an <laughs> asshole? He does. Like, at the end of the story... It's like, well, that was dumb. At the end of the story, or his arc as Rorschach, he ends up on the wrong end of a gun where they're going to shoot him in the face and say, any last words? And he says, yeah, Rorschach sucks. And then Green Arrow saves him. And it's their way of being like, Rorschach's his own thing. Right. The question lives in this universe. Rorschach would have died. But the question gets to live because he lives in the DC universe and Green Arrow saved him. Like, right. And Green Arrow's like arrival is is like their way of indicating that like the DC universe is more hopeful and yes. like a- and more collaborative. Right. And I kinda like that. It was a fun little it was very weird. But and very on the nose. That, but they were yeah. reading a freaking Watchmen he was comic. Reading Watchmen. Yeah, so Watchmen is a comic in the DC universe. Yes, until it became just like another comics universe. are. No, comics are not a thing in the. Well, they are, but they're not superhero comics in the Watchmen universe. Right, there are but, comics, but superheroes exist, so right, you have so you pirates. Have some, yeah. In uh, Marvel universe, there are trades. Like there are comic books made about the superheroes, and they can use them in legal defense. That's right. Questions on the cover. He plays almost no role in the ah. story. Uh, Event Leviathan was this. Okay, concept. so we have characters that aren't playing much of a role. Is that? 
Is this guy? Is yeah. that Leviathan? Oh, is he playing Leviathan. the vent? Oh, okay. He's the bad guy. Oh, okay. So at right. least someone on the cover is relevant. Yes, yes. And, the, and of course, the question is, uh, maybe the reason why the question is on the, que in the cover is to elicit that, that response, but the question is, who is Leviathan? Leviathan's a new villain. Shows up. Boom. Big splash. Oh, no. Does who the, is he? Does right. the question only Ask talk quest in questions? No, no. He's not like Falstaff or whatever. <laughs> He's he just he's just an asshole. Oh, he does. it says right here, who is Leviathan? Whoa! Oh, I would say, what it? is Leviathan? What? Ah, why? Ah, how <laughs> is Leviathan? Oh, hey Jeff, I didn't realize you were here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ben did this whole prelude to Leviathan, or to the event Leviathan, in which he establishes a few things. Um, you also have to get some context for Leviathan, which was a criminal organization run by Talia al Ghul. Oh, I didn't know Which that. Grant Morrison huh. kind of like fleshed out. Um, it was intricate and scary and actually impressive and like far reaching. And then- Was it like a branch off of the League of Shadows? Uh, no, it's kind of its own thing. But then like Talia kind of turned it into its own League of Shadows after a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a neat idea that Grant Morrison played with. And then after Grant Morrison stopped using it, it kind of just became another, uh, another evil organization within the DC universe. You know, like once there was the big reveal of, uh, of Talia being like, I am Leviathan. It was kind of like, well, okay, well we did that. Oh, well, the cat's out of the bag. It's and, no fun now. And we still have Leviathan as an organization, so like, what are we going to do with it? And so they turned it into kind of like a gun runner, you know, secret clandestine organization, like so many in the DC universe. That's and uh, so that that elicits an, a response immediately. You know, you hear Leviathan, and if you read DC, you're like, oh, Talia? And Talia's in the book. Yeah. But she was like, they someone took Leviathan away from me. Oh. And I want revenge. And then she shows up at the end to get it, you know? <laughs> like, right. I will do nothing until the end when I just walk walk over the threshold and go, <laughs> Thank I'll you. be taking that back this now. This is mine now. And like, you're under arrest. And she's like, oh shit, right. I'm the bad guy. I did nothing to warrant it. Uh, no actions nope. whatsoever, I but uh, I, will, I will take it all. Yeah. I am beautiful, though. You gotta admit that. I am distractingly beautiful. Exactly. Maybe you'll forget to arrest me. Come on. I mean, I see Batman's here. He's obviously not... First in line to arrest me. <laughs> the, the opening sequence to the trade, it's very out of sequence, because I remember like reading mm. the first issue of Leviathan, and it's not how it starts. And In here? Yeah. There's this character, Leon, who shows up in a gallery in the opening sequence, and she is a new character that Ben has created who runs another shadow organization. And she's there to, I don't know, look at art. She's just spending her day. Yeah. We're not seeing her when she's actually running her empire. She's just being a person. Uh, that's where you're wrong. This is all part of it. No, nah, uh, it's not. Oh, okay. But then Leviathan shows up, and that's part of it. Uh, this guy's Leviathan? Well, he's wearing a mask yeah. that changes his appearance. Yeah. So he can, like, walk around in public. It's all, like, pixelated. Yeah, because he's wearing one of those, like, holographic masks oh. that don't exist. And Wait, uh, that's similar to the one that uh, Dick Robin. Grayson wears in Court of Owls. Yeah. Yes. But Benna says it doesn't exist, and no one's used it. But it does. It predates this book by eight years. <laughs> so anyway. He's probably just like, Court of Owls isn't in continuity. They're like, what are you talking about? Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. What? It's a huge seller. It was like, more oh, I like, never read Court of Owls. It was more like, <laughs> ah, I kind of like that pixelated mask thing. It, was that an idea or somebody else's idea? It's ah. like in uh, Black Mirror, too. Yeah, it is in Black Mirror. <laughs> Leviathan shows up and he's like, L Ms. Leon, you are great. And you're doing some great stuff. But you're not doing it good enough. And she's like, fuck you, I'm gonna have you killed. And he's like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to be a supervillain here. You know, I'm doing the thing. Right. We do the cat and mouse game. I, <laughs> we're really not so different, you and I. I, I, <laughs> I, uh, I admire you, but you're not, you're not, you're not an ambitious enough. And uh, like, but I like, you know, the potential that you have. Yes. We should work together. Yeah, kinda. And uh, what Bendis has established in his Superman run is that like, Leon and other members of like, Metropolis-based, evil organizations or criminal empires is that they learned that Superman has super hearing and y uses it to zero out special words that are buzzwords so that he can stop crime. It's like why he doesn't have to be a detective. Mm. Oh, he's Homeland Security. Cool. Yeah. yeah. No, he's only hearing uh. for words like kryptonite or Lois Lane. Like, <laughs> it's only words that he know or murder. Like, if you say murder or kill or plan, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. Then he shows up. And it's with one. Oh, I'm going to murder this burger. Vunk! 
<laughs> Hi, Superman. Well, no, it's, he, he'll, well, no, like, he'll, he'll, key, he'll 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 listen closely <laughs> yeah. or or come by and right, see, or fly but not, over. He's not gonna walk up to you. And be like, bam. What was that about murder? <laughs> Whoa, Superman. Yeah. No. Yeah, just, I'm real hungry. I was just using you know Googleish overtones to describe yeah. how I'm gonna eat my lunch. Right. Oh. I I kind of like that because I always kind of wondered like, oh, S Superman could be listening to us, but. Yeah, but he's what not like doing literally to... listening to like a billion conversations no, at once. No, he's not right? God. Like, yeah. No, but he could. He's got a super brain. <laughs> <laughs> he could process it all. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. So, but he is just listening for keywords, so they just don't use them. Okay. Or they okay. use other so they words. Figured out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that's fun. Yeah. But uh, hmm. I like that all of the criminal organizations like are aware of this, so they have like Plans. fill in words. Yeah. yeah. The ones who weren't aware of it, they didn't. They went to they jail. Didn't last too long. <laughs> Natural selection. Yeah, exactly. But you, you have some great ideas. Uh, we're, I'm actually doing some, uh, some, some big stuff myself. You know, I've got some big plans hatching. Oh, you got a lot of big plans. Yeah. 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 What do you, uh, you know, what do you think we should be doing? What? So he's like fishing for ideas. Yes. Because <laughs> he doesn't like, know what to do. No, he's. I'm new to this whole thing. Oh, pff, I'm new to being a supervillain. Well, yeah, kinda. Like I, I took Leviathan. And why and should she help him? Right? Well, because, you know, my goals are your goals, we destroy Superman, blah, blah, blah. I'm confused. <laughs> Already? Already. Leviathan was an organization yes. that Talia Ghul ran. Yes. And he's saying he's and in charge of it? And this is Leviathan? Yeah. Yeah, this is a new character who showed up and somehow wrested control of Leviathan, the organization, from Talia, all along with other things, and called himself Leviathan. You know, for convenience. Right. I'm just gonna become Leviathan. I, I am the embodiment of Leviathan. Thank I'm, you. It, what it needed was like a like a, like a figure a king head. or yes. a god right. figure. Yeah. yeah. So I just became Leviathan. Yeah. Yes. And, so and I just I just marched in and said that that's. Hey, I'm I Leviathan now. I'm like, yeah. oh. Start calling me that. The, literally that. And they were like, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I kind of yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Talia Al Ghul, like her name means demon's head. It has no correlation. So Leviathan's pitch meeting with Leon uh, will lead him down a path that will allow him. To, and I'm just going to cut to the quick with this one. He, he and his already established base collapse all the clandestine organizations, like Checkmate, etc. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and then he... Oh, that's an organization. That wasn't him saying Checkmate. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as a prerequisite, if you are a member of Checkmate, when your master plan is hatched, you must say Checkmate. So Yeah, but you can never say checkmate because checkmate means you win and checkmate always loses. Right. Right. They say check a lot. They're always hoping to get to checkmate. Yeah, but they, they never do. Never do. We, do we win? Do we finally? <laughs> All the superheroes are here, I guess Damn not. It. Yeah. Well, usually it's a spy organization, so sometimes they win. Oh, okay. Huh. And then they say to themselves quietly and in a bunker, oh, check, check, checkmate. But instead, uh, all, these company, all, the, all these organizations are, are destroyed or at least seemingly collapsed. And then Leviathan comes in, scoops them all up, and then reorganizes them into one organization okay. under his umbrella called Leviathan. Which oh, okay. makes sense. Yes. That actually works because you have a whole lot of people under you and you are a very large, sprawling thing. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. So that's the idea. All right. And the idea here is that it all happened under the superheroes' noses. That like all these organizations that they're all trying to take out individually or whenever a writer remembers they exist. Right. Ethan, go back two pages. That's... I don't know what's happening in that bottom right-hand panel. All I can imagine, based on what I'm seeing from afar, is that Jimmy Olsen is running by Superman and is crop dusting him. <laughs> All the organizations are going to be run by Leviathan, and the superheroes are going to start to piece it together. You're like, oh, that's what's going on. Now we've got to fight him. Right. I guess because it's more dangerous when all the evil organizations are working together. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think about this, because that will be the question. Not the character, but the actual <laughs> question. So, okay. uh, the prelude to Leviathan is essentially, like, Leviathan and, and uh, Leon have a conversation in which Leon's like, well, the problem with most of these organizations or most of these groups or most of these supervillains is that they, like, they screw up by doing, like, basic things. Like, they try to take credit for what they're doing. Mm. They want to gloat. Uh, they try to take a victory lap. They uh, order pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> basic. <laughs> Oh, that is basic. Yeah, totally. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not it. with you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was, was clever. So, so Leon like, lays it all out on Front Street. Like, don't be a basic bitch. Do your thing. <laughs> and, uh, and, and also, like, people try to get Superman's attention to kill him by doing the wrong thing. They always go after a certain someone. Right. And, you know, because they don't say Lois. Right. Um, but, like, they always go after Lois or Jimmy 
you know, they, they never go after the right people or, or, or a soft target, as they're called. Mm. Okay. And uh, so Leviathan's like, you give me a lot to think about. Thanks a lot. So then he leaves, and uh, Superman realizes, while he's, like, doing this patrol, he's like, he, he goes to Lois, and he's like, so there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of highly trained mercs in our apartment waiting to kidnap me mm. as Clark Kent. And she's like, oh, well, go kick their ass. Right. And he's like, I'm thinking there might be kind of a story here since they can't kill me. So I'm thinking about letting them do it. Uh, I, I just want to see where it goes. Yeah, I just want to see where this goes. Okay. And if you're wondering like, hey, where's John? He's off in space with his lunatic grandpa. Yeah. And uh, why is Lois in another apartment? Because Ben is just toying with the idea of breaking them up anyway, so Lois is in her own apartments for some reason. But like, It's where she can get work done. They're on a break. They're like on a weird not break because they sleep together a lot and no. they like still like... It's like they're dating? Yeah. It's they the just, fact that they just regressed their relationship. Yes. Several years. All they need is for the devil to show up and then just make it, a, <laughs> make it official. No, it's Metropolis. You can't just... Get rid of an apartment like that. You could sell it much yes, la like that, later on for a yeah, long that's, time. That's her bachelor pad that she kept, not only while they were dating, but also when she and Clark raised a son on a farm in another freaking state. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She I want to hold apartment. on to this just in case. Yeah, just in case it doesn't work out. Oh, I was gonna say just in case, like we really want to sell it later on. Right. I'm, right. I'm, this sure. is an investment opportunity. Sure, she rented it out. Sure. She was renting it to yeah. somebody. Yeah. 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 Sure. It's, an, that it's like an right. Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. Superman gets kidnapped, and when he does... Voluntarily. Yeah, voluntarily. Yeah. And uh, he gets taken away, and the people who kidnapped him are, like, people who work for Talia. I don't know if they are League of Shadows or if they are former Leviathan. The point is, Talia kidnaps Clark Kent to get Superman, and she's, like, pissed because Leviathan's been taken away from her. Mm. Oh, okay. I thought I figured she'd be pissed because Superman never shows up. Well, she is pissed <laughs> about that, but she's like, okay, so... We'll be ready for Superman. So she outfits him with this kryptonite vest. He can't rescue you because of the vest, and he's like sweating, and he's like <laughs> he's like throwing up. And she's like, Jesus Christ, Kent! Like keep it together. We're we're only here to kill Superman. <laughs> you big wuss! <laughs> exactly. Oh my god! Come on, Talia, put two and two together. Yeah. So Superman. I'm just come gonna home. take your glasses. Oh my god! She does. And nothing? No. No? No, because of his, like... Well, because he's been like, oh, please, no. oh. And he goes, I can't even see without them. Can you put them back on? <laughs> She's like, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so, good stuff. Yeah. And uh, and so, while Superman is in this bunker, and he's like, <sighs> kind of bit off a little more than I could chew. <laughs> <laughs> Did not see this coming. <laughs> no. World's greatest detective, I am not. <laughs> so... Lois uh, is at home, and she's kind of like waiting for her late night booty call, and <laughs> nothing's coming, and she's like, hmm. And she knows that Clark Kent was kidnapped. kidnapped. She actually calls him on the phone, leaves a voicemail, and she's like, so I hope you're not kidnapping went well, and you punched the bad guy, but, you know, whatever. Uh. And then no call, no nothing. Next day, no response, and she's like, okay. We screwed up. Yep. So she What's pushes, this wee business? Well, like, because I encourage him to do it. Is this a different artist? What happened? Yeah, the art switches. Oh. There's art, there's different oh, art okay. all over the place. All right. So, like, so, Lois looks like a different character. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's like, what are you talking about? She's a Caucasian with brown hair. I drew that. There's no, you know, there, there, there's no model sheet for Lois Lane. What do you mean, uh, face what? structure? Yeah, she's whatever the the artist wants to draw. Yeah. So Lois pulls out this like special beacon that she keeps in the freezer, like where you keep money if you're, you know, suspicious. She also has a pack <laughs> of cigarettes in there. She yep. does. Yep. Yeah. Because that, that and that's canon. Lois used to smoke. Oh. At least it is in the Margot Kidder Superman movie. I don't know about the comics. <laughs> So, I, I didn't recall this freaking Superman comics in the 70s. I, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she pushes this button and she meets with Batman. And Batman's like, you know that once you ring this bell, it can't be unrung. And she's like, I already rang it. I'm just asking <laughs> for help. What the hell? Yeah. And, uh, and oh, don't I'm make like, it weird, man. Yeah, don't make it weird. And don't create this weird situation where <laughs> if, if, if Lois is in trouble and she needs Batman's help, she's not just going to call him on the phone. Right. He gave them... An apartment for their wedding gift. Right. She could just call Bruce Wayne. Just call Bruce and be like, hey, Clark's missing. Can you help? 
Right. I think I know a friend of mine in Gotham who might be able to lend some assistance. Yeah, that's do great, Bruce. Do you really need to do that every time, Bruce? <laughs> but no, we gotta go in the freezer and get a special device and push the button. You rang the bell! This is the last time! I can't believe you if you ever do this again! And then Wonder Woman shows up. She's like, the Trinity's here, bitch. What do you need? And that's we're scrambling the, the Justice League to look for Superman. Superman's missing, all hands on deck. And Lois is like, okay, thank you guys. And they're like, okay. And then they go. Okay. And that, that's and that's it. You know, Superman's missing. Oh my God! And uh, what does it have to do with the event, Leviathan? Fucking nothing. What? What? It's all prelude, I indicating that like Talia doesn't or doesn't run Leviathan anymore. And that's it, really. That's it's little. It's just like the 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 scene where Talia reveals. Yeah. That she's not in charge. The yeah. new status quo. Mm -hmm. And I guess you get a fun moment where Clark tries to. Go undercover. Yeah, and, and he sucks at and it. It blows totally up his face. Up. Yep. Yes. Is he gone for the rest of the book? No. No, it's yeah, and that would actually make sense if it's yeah, like, if it's like no, we got to get him off the table because yeah. he's too powerful. No, it's just like a it's a pre credits sequence. So the, the rest of the book, he's back. Yeah. Do we see how that happens? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. There's also a, uh, a, a <laughs> an, an issue of the Jimmy Olsen book by Fraction. Pass. It's, it's like kind of old fashioned looking. Yeah, it, well, it's a fun book that people should have been reading at the time. So it's like showing you like, hey, you really missed out on not buying Superman's friend, uh, Jimmy <laughs> Olsen. Okay, so maybe you could say like, this is the pretext, Superman getting kidnapped is the pretext for all these like story threads getting pulled into kind of, one event. Yeah, only it doesn't include a Green Arrow book, a Question book, a Batman <laughs> book, or any other character. It's like halfway there. So it's it, this is just pulling the, ru the rug out from under you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is what Bendis does. Like, he he, he circumvents his expectations. And you he, think it's going one way and it's not. Well, and he deliberately tries to circumvent cliche. Right. He ends up kind of like creating his own cliches. Right. But like even then, sometimes he's aware of it and goes like, oh, they know I'm gonna zig when I'm gonna zag, so I better zag! But he is rescued by Lois Lane and Shouldn't a couple he of- die? No, like it's not direct contact and, and- Yeah, it's like in a thing embedded in a vest. Yeah, yeah, see? It's just near him, so he's he is dying. Yes, well, okay, so, so Clark Kent is dying, essentially, or at least like, getting sicker by the minute. And yeah. he would not be able to break out of the cuffs or the vest on his own. No. Right. Then Leviathan shows up. Oh. And Leviathan comes in, he's like, Talia took one of my new ideas. And then disconnects the kryptonite. And he's like, good luck. You, you write the story, you tell the, the world everything that happened, including me coming in here and, and, and saving you. Oh, so he takes the suit, or yeah. the vest, I should he say. He takes the vest off. Well, he's, well, I guess he wants to use it against Superman? Well, kind of, but Leviathan... I don't think he likes the fact that Talia took his plan. It's really more like I'm sabotaging Talia's plan. But also, I'm sure he's going to use it. The idea here is that, like, Leviathan doesn't view Superman as an enemy. Wait, so he knows it's Superman? No, it's just more like oh. he knows that this is a trap for Superman. Oh, I see. So he disables like, the no, trap. No, I'm not yes. doing that. Right. Yeah, no, stop. So he frees Superman, then it allows Lois and her plucky band of characters to come in and save Clark Kent. I see. So there's no agents or anything there when they get there. They just, no, they're, they're already just able to walk dispatched. In. Right, okay. I should say that uh, Lois banks on the fact that different artists don't use a model sheet for any female <laughs> characters with brown hair because Lois Lane is dressed as Talia and infiltrates the organization. <laughs> And despite the fact they're two completely different people with two completely different faces. <laughs> That's great. Lois just comes in yeah. and uncuffs Superman. No, there, I'm Talia. Ha ha. Uh, what? I mean, in a world where Superman wears glasses and no one can put it together yeah. except for Scorn. Well, Talia, nice haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Literally yeah, right? that. Because it's totally different than it was. Yeah, so. Except if this is a realistic universe, no guy's going to notice that she got a haircut. <laughs> right. Well, that, that's fair. So Talia makes her escape, the real one. Yeah. While Dexter and Jimmy Olsen and Firestorm and some other characters like go take out the other the other guys, oh, the bad okay. guys. And Lois, now that Superman and Lois have a moment alone, gives Clark his Superman costume, mm -hmm. and then he escapes and uh, and you know helps take them all down. Oh, well, thank God he wasn't wearing it under his clothes. Well, yeah. doesn't Jimmy then wonder what happened to Clark? Uh, no, he told. Well, oh. no, that's that's later. Yes. <laughs> oh, Clark! I, Clark ran away. Yeah, he got scared. Like a coward. Yeah, after we freed him, he ran away immediately. Oh, that's 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 that fits oh, type. Yeah. yeah. So, 
Leviathan meets with Talia on his like dope floating Leviathan ship. Uh huh. And he is essentially saying like, "Hey, why why did you do that? We were in the middle of a thing, and then you." Like, showed our hand. You made me have to reveal myself. Like, you did this whole thing. Mm. And she's like, yeah. Leviathan's, yeah Leviathan's mine. And he goes, no. oh, I see. You were you were trying to undercut me. I, I gotcha. Okay. And then he just, like, jettisons her out of the, <laughs> of the blimp. Right. He's like, well, bye. And she's like, boom. And she falls. And then Superman catches her. Mm. And he's like, explain to me what's going on. And she's like, no. That's... <laughs> And he's like, damn it. Damn you, Talia. <laughs> Lois just knew what Talia was wearing. I'm, I'm sure they bumped into each other or something. <laughs> <laughs> the actual Leviathan event is that Batman and Lois Lane are investigating the wreckage of a newly exploded building. A new building that was also recently exploded. Uh, now that you oh, called me, I'm on all of your missions. Yeah, literally that, like, welcome to the team, new Robin. <laughs> so Batman, this, is, this is what you get for pressing the button. Yeah. So while the DC Universe slept, these clandestine organizations like Spiral and Cobra and Task Force X, Amanda Waller's ousted, all of these organizations mm. fall, crumble, are dismantled or taken down and then absorbed into Leviathan. Okay. Every secret spy organization... So we could have just started the book right here. Leviathan starts right here. The event Leviathan starts with that issue. Yeah. So if, if you didn't care about any of the prelude like I did, you would just start right there, mm -hmm. which is what I did when I read this event in the first place. Right. And then I was like, oh, Christ, i got to read the stuff that came before. So, but... It, I'm sure it'll have a lot of context, right? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh. Not, not, oh. not one. Good not thing not thing we spent half an hour. Yeah, I know. I'm so that. glad we wasted time doing that. <laughs> but don't worry, like, everything else is, you know, blacked out. Well, it's just... It's because they're erased. I think the idea was that like the Dio pitched a spy book to Bendis. He's like, do a spy thing. Do something with, with all the spy organizations we have. Mm. He's like, okay, I'll destroy all of them. Sweet. And the Dio wouldn't have been against that anyway, because he's like, yeah, destroy everything. Kill everyone. <laughs> Bring it all down. We're DC. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Burn it down. You're fired. <laughs> all those things happened, and another organization, which had just debuted this like neat, cool, big building was blown up and Batman and Lois are investigating it and while they are there they bump into Steve Trevor the first man to set foot on Paradise Island according to the Wonder Woman origin until you read like Dark Side War but screw you and uh, <laughs> you know Steve's there and he's in this wreckage and he's alive and they're like what's going on man <laughs> because he also worked for another organization Argus oh and so they're like, did you do this? <laughs> right. And he's like, no, I didn't do this. But we were in the building that was like the headquarters for Argus called the Odyssey. And now it's destroyed. I'm the only survivor. So I'm meant to look like I was the person who blew it up. Uh, as if to throw off the scent. Right. Right. So Steve Trevor is set up to be Leviathan. Like, oh, maybe Steve Trevor's Leviathan, because Leviathan blew up the Odyssey. Mm -hmm. uh, we cut to the past, like, about 42 minutes prior. That's what the building looked like. Yeah, when the... It's a neat building. That's a neat building. That's a, that's a massive building to destroy. Yeah, it's too bad that it only gets 42 minutes of screen time. <laughs> it's quite an interesting design. Right. Yeah. It doesn't look like it should work. No, but, like, no comic book fun building should yeah, be. Yeah, it's using uh, fancy Magnus. future metal that d doesn't exist. Yeah, it uses metal. nth metal. Yeah, it's, 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 it's supported by hope. <laughs> Smack! So Bendis introduces another character, which he likes to do in all yeah. of his runs. He did that uh, back when, like, S.H.I.E.L.D. was being infiltrated by Hydra when they introduced Victoria Hand, who would be the right-hand woman to Norman Osborn when they were running Hammer. Uh, you know, just a sexy lady with glasses who's spunky and says, like, quippy dialogue. No. That character in this is named Dr. Strand, and Dr. Strand is part of Argus, and she is kind of, like, being escorted slash protected by Steve Trevor, and then Leviathan shows up, or some big crazy robot, and it sets the whole building to explode and puts a bubble around Steve Trevor... And Steve is like, get out of here! And she, like, she can't leave. And then <laughs> as the building starts to explode, he, like, watches her disintegrate. Oh. And then the building's done, and 
Steve is left behind and basically Batman's like that's suspicious that like why, yes. were, you, why were you spared yeah. he's like because they want you to think that I'm Leviathan right like, do they clever. find like a hair follicle or something of her behind? No, she's she, like literally was sm smoke and mirrors. Like Leviathan saved her oh. because she's like smart and Leviathan is recruiting. So he's like, hey, you, you, like you wrote a memo that said that, you know, these organizations were bubkis or that you, that we're not doing enough. Like, you know, he's, he's soliciting ideas. Yeah, okay. And so he kidnapped like, her. She and gets it. She's, yes. she's, coming, she's coming with us. Just yeah. like Victoria Hand did back in the Marvel book. Does that mean like they also took all of the equipment and all that kind of stuff? Like the building's destroyed, but right. they teleported everything out. Right. Presumably they took at least sensitive or important equipment. But there's no scene where Batman says, all the really expensive equipment that would have withstanded a big explosion or is, is not here suspiciously. Like, no. I was trying to connect really her name to what she was going to be. Because right. apparently like, what was it, Victoria Hand? Victoria Hand. Yeah, Victoria Hand becomes like, the right hand person of oh, someone. Yeah, this that's is true. this is Miss Strand. Strand. So there's gonna be like a something hair, yeah, 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 left behind. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's just that she's it's just that or they, she's stranded somewhere. <laughs> right. I mean it's more like they think she's dead so that she can operate. Right. You know. I saw you die in front of my eyes. Yeah. Right. I mean, but you vaporized. Yeah. No, it's teleported or she's whatever. She's not in the book anymore, by the way. It's just that like we're establishing a new character that Ben is probably gonna uh. use down the line. Oh, so Wait. she's no longer in the book, but she's going to be important to the organization later. Probably. And we're establishing okay. her by having her get vaporized in this book. Yes. That's so that you don't expect Really it. confusing. Right. Well, it happens <laughs> that we see her at least established by Leviathan in this issue. Sure. It's just like, she's in it. And you're just like, okay. So, like, the actual plot right now is the Odyssey blows up. All these other organizations are destroyed. And Batman is left to wonder, are they connected? What's going on? Mm -hmm. And... Someone is taking credit for it, and his name is Leviathan. Right. So we're left to wonder who Leviathan is and what his game plan is. Okay. That's the, that's the actual plot. Like, I know a well, lot so of people are going to say, I'm confused. What is this even about? And it's like, it's about nothing. It's about, like, how we're streamlining all the, all the clandestine spy organizations into one group called Leviathan, run by a guy called Leviathan, <laughs> and everyone's left to wonder who that guy is. Or girl. Talia the whole time. Right. Yeah, like, and that would be the biggest fuck you of this book. Is that, like, Talia, like, made a doom bot to have an argument with to throw the reader off the scent. Right. And that, sh no, it's just, I wanted people to, no, everyone knew I was Leviathan. And then right. I ran Leviathan. So what I did was, I just made Leviathan bigger, and I threw people off the scent by looking for a guy, but it's really me. Which, now that I'm saying it out loud, kind of sounds kind of fun. I, I think yeah. it might actually be better than the reveal that happens in this book. Right. So anyway, let's get moving. Uh, so Steve Trevor is like, everyone's being a spy in this book. You know, Lois Lane's like, there's a story here. And like, why was my husband kidnapped? And blah, 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 blah. And Batman's like, Lois, like, what are you doing here? Maybe you're Leviathan. And Steve Trevor's like, hey, I'm going to shoot you guys and try to run away. And then Green Arrow shows up and shoots Steve Trevor with a taser arrow. And he's like, why was he running? And they're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and you're like, okay. And th this is the issue. <laughs> this is the issue where I read it and I went, this event sucks. And then I just stopped reading yeah. it. And then after it got collected, I'm like, okay, let's read it. Right. And I read it all in one sitting and I'm like, better? Okay. Better than just the one issue where it's just like, it's all of the worst parts of Bendis on display. <laughs> along with like a fundamental misunderstanding of how characters would talk. Well, it, the whole like, maybe you're Leviathan. Oh, what are you doing here? Why are you so interested in figuring out who Leviathan is? Why have it... Why is it suddenly this huge mystery that you have to solve where everyone Because that's what be. the book is. The I, book right. is that it's yeah, the mystery. Why do the but, characters right, feel why that do they way? they care? Like, yeah. this shit happens all the time. <laughs> you don't immediately ask, like, who is what, such and such? Yeah, what? Who is the Joker? Like, they do that, like, a time? Yeah. Right? No, Most true. of the time, nobody gives a shit yeah, who no. he is. He's yeah. the Joker. Joker. What, what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Commissioner Gordon's like, I got this card. Joker's going to poison the reservoir. Who is that? <laughs> no, I, I know who the Joker is. I've fought him countless times. But what is, what is his identity? Is this, is this really important? Can we just stop him poisoning the river? <laughs> Who is he, though? We've been calling him the Joker for like 20 years. Can't we just keep doing that? <laughs> no, not this time. What right. I don't like is the fact that Batman is not collecting clues. He's asking questions. I mean, that's what a good detective does. That's true. That's what a real detective does. <laughs> yeah, because real detectives aren't Batman. Well, no. Batman would collect no, it's just like yeah, yeah, evidence. Yeah. You got me there. There's just not evidence everywhere, usually. Usually you got to ask people. <laughs> that's true. So Green Arrow team. Green up Arrow has a way of showing up like out of the blue for no reason. In Bendis books, yes, <laughs> or just in general, sure. Well, because nobody expects Green Arrow. 
So Green Arrow and Batgirl team up to take down another bad guy archer character that like no one uses named Merlin with a Y. <laughs> Batgirl and Green Arrow take him down before he can get to his helicopter to escape. And they're like, who's Leviathan? And he's like, too late, Leviathan just showed up. And then he blows up the roof of this building that they took down Merlin on and Leviathan saved Batgirl and Green Arrow and kept them in like a holding place and he's like talking to them now. He's like, hey Batgirl, what's going on? Listen, you were Oracle and Barbara Gordon and I know all this. And it's like, very few people knew that Barbara Gordon was Oracle. Very few people. And no, that's not a clue. I was just gonna say, is it Batman? Is Bruce Wayne Leviathan? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that would be a Grant Morrison thing where it's like, I created a personality in my head if I ever, like, got too (laughs) deep into a mystery. No, no, it's not creating a personality. It's just like, no, I decided to get rid of crime in Metropolis by 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 becoming a crime lord, (laughs) getting everyone under me, and then dismantling the whole thing. That does sound like a Bat Family character, and that'll be explored in this. But he's basically like, listen, Barbara, you kind of get what I'm what I'm playing at here, because I I dismantled all those fire organizations and I run it now and we can do some good with this. Mm. Join me. Join and, me. And, and Dick Grayson is a spy now, so <laughs> like no, 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 he's not anymore. No, 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 he was a spy. I'm sorry, Rick Grayson was a spy. <laughs> My apologies. Thank you. It's a very good correction, but also he was a member of Spiral, which was an organization that, that collapsed and is absorbed into Leviathan. Oh. But no, uh, he's not like, you used to bang Dick Grayson, and he used to be a spy too, and that's somehow collect. No, it's just, no. it's just you were on the side of law and order. You don't necessarily subscribe to the whole superhero philosophy. You do dress like Batgirl, but you also, you get it. Like, your dad was commissioner. Mm-hmm. You're... Oracle, you know, you you kind of understand what I'm doing. So he's acting like he's more on the side of like the, the angels. police he's trying to be like a, than he, superheroes. It's more like I wish this, that the superheroes would get what I'm trying to do. Right, cops would get it. Right, <laughs> because what I'm trying to do is like bribe people. And well, like, it's, it's like, well, here's the thing. It's like, like what matters is order. Oh, I know yes. exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll put a little link at the bottom of like a, a crappy article. It's just like, cops hate this guy for this one thing he's doing. You won't like, believe it. <laughs> I the, the whole thing is he's like, we had like 18 different shadow organizations that were like doing things and unchecked. Right. And that's how the world was run. You know, like heroes would go punch the Joker. Right. And they, maybe they'd get an inkling like, Literally, there's a whole book called Justice League versus Suicide Squad where they all team up to fight Eclipso. Like, Task Force X shouldn't exist. Mm-hmm. It, it's not a good, well-working, oiled machine. Right. So Wouldn't it be better if, if there, there was just one evil organization? Or there wasn't one at all? Right. Like, you guys didn't do anything to fix it, but I am. Yeah. And if you if you could see the big picture, maybe you'd be on my side about this. Right. Like, I'm not going to tell you what the big better. picture is, though. Well, no, I am, but where it's like... The world ran by having like 18 different things like running in different directions. I moved all those into one and we can tell that thing where to go and what direction to go in. Mm-hmm. That's way better. Right. Like, that's way better because you can trust me because I'm an evil-faced monster guy. <laughs> right, and I blow up buildings and shit. <laughs> I don't understand why they're not on my team. Well, you killed countless numbers of people. <laughs> right. Yeah. So well, why should I gotta you? crack a few eggs. Boom. Batman's in the cave and he's talking to Damien and Damien's like, hey, but hey dad, can you explain to me how Red Hood isn't Leviathan? <laughs> and he's like, what? You see, I'm... let's go talk to Jason. <laughs> so, damn it. <laughs> so, so, you know, Jason Todd, Red Hood, former Robin, he's be dead, now he's back. Right. Took over the mantle of the former mantle that the Joker had when he was a villain, kinda. Yeah. yeah. For like a second. For like a hot second. Yeah. Uh, and kills criminals rather than punches them because he's like anti-Batman, yeah. but still, but still uses like the training of Batman. Yeah, doesn't want uh, criminality to succeed. Yeah, like, and he's also when he first showed up as the Red Hood, he was the guy who was like, "You can't stop crime, but like if you control it, right, you can direct its impact." So it's kind of similar to the Red Hood's philosophy, anyway. Right. So it kind of makes it's sense. Logical. So you get your first breadcrumb. Oh, is it Red Hood? The answer is no. No, of course not. No, that'd be too obvious. Yeah. It's gotta be- no, we're halfway through the book. We yeah. can't have the answer in front of us. Nope. So Batman goes and meets with Red Hood, and he's like, listen, Jason, Batgirl- I go by Hood now. 
Jason's yep. oh, dead. Okay. Jason Todd died. He was no, he's, murdered with a crowbar. No, no, no. Okay, Jason. Not, he definitely goes by Jason. Oh, uh, okay. What are girls going to scream when they're when he's fucking them, you know? Oh, Hood! <laughs> hood! No. Oh, you got to call me Hood. That's not going to work. I don't like that at all. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's really making it impersonal. You know what? Just call me Jason. It's because then I have to wear the mask while I'm having sex with you. Yeah. It's, it gets hot in there. Yeah, I'm a sweater, that. so forget it. It's just... I have to empty the hood every time. It's just like dripping out. And oh. You're just like, oh. Yeah. Everything about what we just said was terrible. <laughs> also, Tali Al Ghul resurrected Jason. Oh, so there's a little All link right. there. Yeah. yeah. And and he could like you know resent her for doing that. True. And yeah. want to take over her organization. Exactly. It's a good fit. Yeah. So you know, Batman and Jason have a conversation, which I'm Batman sorry. like lays it all out. He wears a mask under the mask. Yeah. It's like an inner, like, protective mask. Yeah. It chafes if I don't wear well, this, like, lining. Sometimes I don't want to wear this constricting yeah. hood. But I still want but to But your red it. hood. Yeah. I know. That's, you took the name, That's man. the whole thing. Yeah, you got to live with it. Or change the name. <laughs> so, they're having this conversation. Uh, while all this also happened, Lois Lane's father, General Sam Lane, had a heart attack and went to the hospital, and no one believes it was a heart attack. Mm. They think it was Leviathan. Why? Because Sam Lane is also <sighs> helps out with another clandestine organization. Oh, I see. Of course. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So. Right. Okay. So Sam that Lane has been like an assassination attempt was made on Sam Lane, maybe, and so Batman kind of like lays out all the clues and like essentially gives Jason the opportunity to either fess up or try and feign ignorance maybe maybe he wears the little mask to like hide from batman like some of his expressions yeah so he can't be read as easily that could be i like that um by the way the 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 information gatherer about sam lane was the question ah like the question broke into sam lane's hospital room and which was of course under armed guard yeah and while he was there a Leviathan agent took out the guards and went in there to assassinate Sam Lane. Ah, finish the A job. Leviathan agent that kind of looks like a mix of Gladiator and the Rocketeer. I was going to say, it looks like the friggin' Rocketeer. What is with that helmet? It's it's a dope-looking helmet. <laughs> I it do is, love the helmet from the Rocketeer. Yeah, the, the idea here is, you know, this is a new organization. You know, Leviathan was a thing that Talia ran, and it, it didn't look, it didn't have cohesion. Right. I've got matching uniforms and neat helmets and stuff. Where did, how did you have time to make all this? <laughs> I'm Leviathan. I had, I had an entire organization that I dismantled and took over right. making helmets. Oh, hang on, hang on. Entire, <laughs> I'm going to find out yeah. which one that was. All right. Maybe that's what he used Leviathan for. Cobra like, Task Force X. He takes X, over Leviathan. Uh, yeah. Just Research has it group. print up like costumes Some and helmets and stuff spiral. and then yeah. when he has enough then, take over then he everything. takes over all the other ones and gives them the stuff right so it looks like he's like got it all figured out yeah uh, I'm gonna say advanced research group makes sense oh yeah 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 they make the helmets I would have said Cobra because they look like Cobra Commander <laughs> because he wears a helmet yeah <laughs> but no I, I think you're I think you're probably right sure oh in as much as anyone can be right about a fake thing that no that, one thought about. Yeah, yeah. it was definitely so not what's, what's yeah. considered <laughs> or thought about. What do you think? No, I, think it, I was thinking it was Leviathan. I think he used Leviathan to make the masks and then, and then made his move. Yeah, first first order of business, ladies and gentlemen, we're yeah. making helmets. Because once okay. I take over, we have to immediately look uniform to like cement that it's one organization. Yes. How, how else could you get all these different people who work for these different organizations Oh my to, God, like, Leviathan together? isn't a giant crime syndicate. Right. It's just a manufacturer. Yeah, it's like Walmart, right? <laughs> or McDonald's. Yeah, like you're really? saying those aren't sprawling evil organizations. <laughs> yes. I mean, you know, the, the, the enforce conformity across a no, gigantic empire. It's yeah. more like Calvin Globe Klein. Spring. Yeah, mm. Mm. it's like a brand. Yeah, yeah, it's more like a brand. So anyway, uh, the question fights the Leviathan agent, and he's losing. And then Sam Lane like wakes up from his hospital bed and has a gun on him and shoots the Leviathan agent oh. and then shoots at the question Sure. and then the question escapes. Right. I'm Sam Lane, I always have a gun. Yeah, I'm uh, you're just, a dirty vigilante or whatever. Yep. What happened was he had to bail, so the body of the Leviathan agent went to the morgue and they sent Plastic Man to mm. investigate. Oh, okay. So Plastic Man goes to the morgue and he's checking out the body, but then Leviathan showed up. Oh. And he's like, Hey, right. he's like, I'm doing a thing that's way different. 
and it probably will work. What do you think? The Plastic Man makes jokes at him, and he's like, go away. Right. So then, I look like one of the robots from Destiny. Like, how am I not cool? He looks yep. exactly That's... like a Destiny robot. Yep. Like, <clears throat> suspiciously, p- potentially actionably yeah. like a Destiny robot. Well, yeah. what age is Bendis' kid? Does, does <laughs> Bendis' kid play Destiny uh, or Destiny 2? No, there's no question he does. Uh. Destiny takes the, <laughs> the Leviathan body, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, I'm going to go. This Why does Plastic Man stop him? He just doesn't. He didn't try, didn't try to punch him or anything? No. Nah. He could, though, right? He's Plastic Man. Yup. Maybe he's like, well, that's his guy. I mean, the he should is, take him to pay for The fact whatever. is, Ben just picked the wrong guy. <laughs> he picked, like, the guy who could probably take over the entire world with his own body to be duped by Leviathan <laughs> right before his eyes. Yeah. It, almost like, uh, uh, Plastic Man is lame. What's yeah. he going to do against Leviathan? He can stretch or create anything, <laughs> be anything. If oh. he could do all that, why is he like the most powerful man on Earth? He, he pretty much is. Because it's hard to write. Can, can Leviathan kill Plastic? Like, <laughs> Plastic Man could easily defeat Leviathan in this scene. And he does. And figure he out who he that. is yep. well, and end it all. It, yes. Leviathan got him thinking, you know? And he's like, now maybe he's in it his is own better. head. That's, like, maybe I want to. That's maybe the indication. Right. Okay. Is that, because Plastic Man puts his hand on his chin like oh. he's thinking. So maybe <laughs> he's peaked. But then he says, hey, what's your name again? Come on. Come on. Like, it's a, it, it, Plastic Man at no point is tempted by Leviathan. Okay. So he should have just defeated him. So... If Leviathan doesn't turn out to be someone who either hypnotizes people or <laughs> he, uses some sort of mind he's suggestion, not. he's not. Then I don't get how he is able to do anything. Mm-hmm. So then uh, we cut back to Batman explaining that this is all a flashback to Red Hood, and Red Hood's like, "Well, like you've got a mystery on your hands. I guess you should call all the detectives you know and come up with some suspects." And Batman's like. We kind of did. And then all of the characters who will be in the book from now on appear behind Batman to take down Red Hood. What? So like, it's, we think it's you. Yes. Okay, and I get now the little mask that he's wearing. It's because the hood comes up and now he wears like a scorpion mask yeah. on his face. Yeah, because he used to that wear like a biker there. helmet. Yeah. Oh. But now he wears like a paintball mask and has to conceal his identity that way with the hood over it. He's like, but no, I always, I always wear this. But that's one of like four different costumes the Red Hood has. So like, it, 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 he's very versatile. You know, sometimes he wants to wear the paintball mask and the and the matching domino mask. Other times he wears a helmet, you know. Right, he's always in fashion. It depends yeah. on what the weather exactly. is outside, I mean, what I'm doing. I would. Yeah. If it was hot, I'd wear the hood, no helmet. It's true. You should have multiple costumes for inclement weather and... Not something. Batman, though. Yeah. No, just Batman. Batman's well, got his suit's got, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got uh, temperature control. Exactly. So we meet the detectives. The world's greatest detectives in the DC universe that Bendis chooses to be on this team. Like Lois Lane, Ace Reporter. <laughs> and Green Arrow, Ace Archer. And Batman's son, because of course. And yeah. Manhunter. Who? Everyone's favorite character. Who's Manhunter? Which one's Manhunter? Point, point him on the page. The girl. Oh. I was going to ask if that was friggin' what's-her-face. Uh, Talia. No. <laughs> Huntress, yeah. Yeah. No, it's not Huntress. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's not wearing purple. No. It, it looks a little purple in that page. It, yeah, it does, actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, to round out, the question in Plastic Man as well. Is Plastic Man a detective? No. Oh. But they call him one in this book. <laughs> what? So... Manhunter... Uh, I need a stretchy guy. <laughs> yeah. I need somebody who could stretch. So, Manhunter is many characters. Uh, we've actually covered the Manhunters in our uh, episode about Millennium, in which the DC Universe is invaded by Manhunters. Infiltrated, you might say. Hmm. Uh, the Manhunters were a race of robots that the Guardians of Oa created before the Green Lantern Corps. Yeah. And... That's that's their whole thing. Is that they their their whole thing was no man can escape the Manhunters or whatever. And so like these Manhunter robots were the guardians of peace and justice throughout the galaxy that the Guardians created. But they screwed up and failed and didn't work out. And so they went they scrapped plan, them. They scrapped and went with Plan B, Green Lanterns. It's amazing how often I keep hearing that apparently the Green Lanterns were Plan B. Yeah. Like we already said this thing. It was like yeah. Ah, Green Lantern. Oh, we had this other thing. Ah, Green Lanterns. Yeah. Well, but you know why? Because Green Lanterns work. That's why. And you, you you rarely ever go with plan A. I uh, like it that the, the plan A never worked out for them. But there yeah. were so many plan A's before that. <laughs> plan A1, plan, plan A2. A, plan, yeah. 
It should be Plan 1A. So there's robot manhunters. Yeah. There are also superhero manhunters. Like characters who were manhunter. And, and had powers. Uh, some of them had powers, and some of them were just dudes in suits. Okay. And there were multiple manhunters throughout the histories. And then there was another one who was like a lawyer, and he was a manhunter. And he wore like a, like a suit too, and he fought them. And maybe he had like technology from the old manhunter robots. There's, there's a weird obsession with manhunters, by the way, in the DC universe. Hmm. A lot of manhunters. Not only have there been at least four to six manhunter characters, like superheroes with the mantle manhunter, yeah. right. but there's also the Martian manhunter mm. and the robot race of manhunters. Right. So, like... It's kind of our thing. Yeah, that's kind of their thing. <laughs> what you're telling me is women are safe, though. Right, because no man can escape the manhunters. So, the manhunters hunt man. A woman inherits the DC. <laughs> Thank you. You didn't tell us that one of the weapons that Jason Todd carries around on his back is a freaking crowbar! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I saw that. Of course it is! Why wouldn't it be? That's cool. Yeah. Now, I don't know, because I'm not a big Red Hood fan. Like, That's I like don't... if Batman just picked up a gun and started <laughs> using a gun all the no, time. Cause, no, because Batman... Jason's a hypocrite. Batman swore yeah. off guns. Batman didn't die by gunfire. No. It'd be like if Thomas Wayne... Which he does. Gun, which he does. So actually, so, it's yeah. completely in keeping with the theming of these characters. So, <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> no, in fact, oh. Batman does the exact same thing as Jason in his own personal philo philosophical way because a gun killed his parents, so he never uses a gun. Right, and a crowbar killed... Jason. Jason, so he never uses a crowbar no, either. He always uses a crowbar because he's a hippie. He's the anti-Batman. No, I mean, Batman never uses a crowbar. Batman is consistent yeah. in that he never uses yeah, things Yeah, he never that uses the implements that kill the people he loves. Sure. I mean... <laughs> or it's just, it's, why would he ever use a crowbar? It's technically true. <laughs> Jason, that's just morbid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's how hardcore I am. Yeah. I'd love it if he's like, this isn't a weapon. I, I use this to break into places. Yeah. It's a useful tool. Yeah. You have one in the trunk <laughs> how of come, the Batmobile. Uh, how come no other superhero uses one? Fucking weirdo. Yeah, what do you, what else, yeah. You don't just hit people with it. I feel like you do. I, you've never hit anyone with the crowbar, Jason? Look at me in the eye and tell me you didn't do that. <laughs> anyway, so this is Kate, Jumps off roof. So, so this is Kate Spencer. She's also a manhunter. Kate Spencer, okay. Yeah. She was a lawyer. Sounds like a lawyer. Right. Good, good lawyer name. Yeah. Anyway, so Jason is like, and then he runs away. And they're like, oh, let's go get him. Yeah. Dog so, pile on freaking on Jason on Red Hood. <laughs> yeah, so Jason gets away, and so everybody meets at the Fortress of Solitude. Like, oh, it was him. N yeah, kind of. <laughs> some... He ran. That's a... he must be guilty. <laughs> <laughs> he ran from a mob. Yeah. What was Lois Lane gonna do? <laughs> well, she was gonna get a quote. <laughs> she had her camera out. No, he... like she was recording the whole thing. That's it. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. We're all here. I'm waiting for the confession. She's good yep. at recording stuff. Yep. That's yeah. her. That's super bad. How'd we get to the Fortress of Solitude? Well, let's go back. Let's go back. What? And, and get back to the fight. And so... Oh. How he got away? How he got away. And how he got away was he's just really well trained. And, like, eventually gives everybody the slip. And then uh, Manhunter catches up with him and she's like, No, I know it's you. And she, like, hits him with her Manhunter staff. And also, like, you're a man. You can't escape me. Right, exactly. I mean, uh, that's, on, that's on brand for her. And uh, so they punch and they, 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 they kick and she hits him with the, with the staff and then eventually he overpowers her and then gets away and then Lois is there and she's like... It's like a Tron staff. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's like, well, it's... Sweet. Yeah, it's neat. So she's like... So Lois Lane shows up and she's like, what's going on here? Explain yourself. I I explain yourself. Right. Can I get a statement? I'm not going to try and hit you so you yeah. can't try and hit me. Right. And he's like... You wouldn't hit a girl. Well, he's like, I thought I destroyed your recording device. And she's like, yeah, this is a backup. And he's I'm like, covered in recording device. And he's like, all right, listen. Like, he essentially says, like, I'm not Leviathan. Right. And points a gun at her face. Yeah, because he's, he's a dickhead. Yeah. It's funny because it's for dramatic Batman effect. didn't say, are you Leviathan? He just assumed he's Leviathan. No, he just gave Jason all of the clues and let Jason fill in the blanks. Right. Exactly. So clearly, I believe you're Leviathan. And... Oh, and he's not always running. <laughs> okay. And Lois is the only smart person who goes, are you Leviathan? No, I'm not. Oh, well. He doesn't even say, no, I'm not. He just kind of like, give, he just, you know, like, well, what do you, th you know, like, he, he asks her rhetorical questions that would lead her in another direction that mm. would allow her to realize that if Jason were Leviathan, then they'd be running very differently. Mm. 
You know, like, I'm not Leviathan because if I, if it were, it'd be working. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Right. And so, Leviathan is working, though. Well, is it? Mm. It hasn't really had much time to do well, much of anything. They've blown up a building. It hasn't been taken down yet. If, if I were Leviathan, I wouldn't be dressed up as Red Hood running around. Well, that's also... No, yes. that's the perfect reason to be dressed up as right. Red Hood, to throw right. them off the trail. It's just, it's just, no. But anyway, he goes like, you know, who is the big person? Who's the big the big head honcho normally with these spy things? And she's like, Lamanna Man Waller. She goes, well, ask Amanda what's going on. She probably mm. has some clues. Right. It's not me. I won't be in the book anymore. But like, kick the can down the road. Good luck. Take me off the list. Sorry, Internet. It wasn't me. <laughs> so then uh, they're, they're all in the fortress and they're all kind of like thinking and planning and talking. And uh, then they realize like, oh, based on what Jason said, like, where is Amanda Waller? Like, why isn't she in the book yet? Right. And uh, so Lois mentions that Amanda was actually in the Fortress of Solitude and what? that she was brought there for safekeeping by Superman. Oh. And then she escaped. <laughs> and they're like, Amanda Waller was in the Fortress of Solitude? Are you kidding me? And then just left? Well, where'd she friggin' go? Is it in Antarctica? No, it's not. Oh. Uh, this is a time when they moved the fortress to the Bermuda Triangle. Because no one goes there. Yeah. And you can't find it. What do you yes, mean you can't can? find it? Yeah, because it's, it's one of the most like, populated like <laughs> trade routes. Yeah, but, it's, but no, but it's literally magic and stuff, and so you can't like just, just find it. You know, It's like the mascara kind of. Oh, so like you can go oh. to the Bermuda Triangle, but you can't like find what's in the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, exactly. yeah, because like compasses don't work and shit. And ships disappear when they go in. Yeah, yeah. There's just like a whole bunch of ships like stuck in yeah. the Fortress of Solitude. I, I they know, can't it's get like out. an island. Yeah, yeah, I hate it so much. <laughs> just put it back in the Arctic. Like it's too far away. It's just you, no one could ever get there if it's in. Or like everyone they die of exposure before the they Arctic, got there. It's the only building there. Well. <laughs> Like, yeah, anyone but no one knew there. it was there, right? That was kind of the That's point. That's kind of the point. Yeah. yeah, it was camouflaged. It was hidden. I guess, like, after a while, enough people had, like, been there in various I, books. I think it's just a cosmetic shake-up to try and, like, Everything's make different. Superman relevant. I think it's a way to say, like, no, it's <laughs> yeah, in the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is much more relevant well, than and, saying, like, and everyone just says, oh, the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, that's, that's dangerous. I, I literally Spooky. think it's just, we don't know what else to do. Let's change this. Yeah. Maybe they moved it to, to the Bermuda Triangle during the DC Hanna-Barbera stuff when there's like, oh, it's a mystery. No, because they moved it before. <laughs> it used to be in like the jungles of South America. Yeah, I was going to say, is this something where like in like five years, looking back, it'll be like, oh, that crazy stupid period where it was in the Bermuda Triangle. We're in it right now. <laughs> right. Where it's the, like, we're in that moment. It's but like, it's still there. Where they're like, we're in the Bermuda Triangle. And I'm like, oh, right. That sucks. Did Amanda Waller free herself? Yeah. I didn't think. Well, I thought like she prison, was just a right? good manager. No, no. Like she gets a team together. She is. Well, she's good at uh, an organization, but she's also. But she all got super there spy. by being an agent, I assume. No, right? Superman brought her there. No, no. I mean, she got. To oh, where she got she to is her. Yes. By also being an effective like field agent. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so she escapes, and then they're like, she voluntarily left. So she's listening in on this entire conversation right now. <laughs> hey, Amanda, how's it going? And then we cut to the Nevada desert where she is listening to the conversation. <laughs> and they're like, heads up, Amanda, by the way, this all happened on your watch. And then they break the communications device they discover that she was using. <laughs> okay. And she's like, damn it. <laughs> and then she breaks the communication device that she's using to listen to them. Right. And then just like goes out and she's, she's heading to her car. And then Leviathan shows up. Oh. And she's like, I know who you are. And he says, like, you're bluffing. He doesn't say that, unfortunately. No. He has been to speak. So he says, bluffy bluffer. No, you don't. But this is the same person <laughs> who made Flash call something cockapoo-poo. So right. what, what can you, you know. I'll take bluffy bluffer over cockapoo-poo any day. That's true, yeah. But I'd rather not have either of them. No, no, you don't. You don't. You're yeah, a bluffy bluffer. Nah. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I get it. I get it. It's supposed to be funny. I yeah. know, I know. It's just not But funny. like, no. <laughs> so Fluffy McBufferson. If that were the case, at least then it's like it's like Bodie McBoatface right. and making a joke. Yeah. But like But but Bluffy Bluffer. Yeah. What if What if the the whole idea of Leviathan is mm -hmm. just it's Nathan Fillion as a supervillain? <laughs> oh, it's just it's his dialogue. Yeah, it's his character from Destiny. I mean, essentially, it might as well be. Let's just let's put it that way because, like, it's no one you know. Uh, yeah, 
It's Damn no it. one you know. I was trying to figure it out. It is, a, vil- it is a superhero from the DC Universe. Right, it is right, a character. Right. But, like, we don't talk about this character. Right. And nobody talks about this character. And Ben is like, ha, ha, ha. But I, uh, uh, you could have Nathan Fillion play them. Because who cares? Well, that's what... Th- it seems to be what the dialogue is. Yeah. Yeah, because... Like, every once in a while, he's funny and quippy. Yeah, and he's very, And then like, sometimes you're just like, what? Really, yeah. Yeah. No, it's very Nathan Fillion. It could very much be Destiny. Amanda points a gun at... Leviathan, and she's like, "I know your tech, and I know that your, I know what your mask is all about, and how it works, and all that stuff." And he goes, "Mana, please, like, look, behold!" And he teleports in like all these Leviathan agents, Ooh. and she's like, "We're good. Like, we're gonna take you down." And then Superman shows up, and he says, "Amanda, is this man bothering you?" <laughs> Which is a great Superman moment. That's fun. And uh, Superman tries to use his X-ray vision to look through Leviathan's mask, yeah. but it's not working. Yeah, it's like that was that was the first thing I thought of Superman. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I used I lined it with lead. No, it's it's the, no that would be easy. Le, <laughs> no, Leviathan you stole all of this, all this tech from all over the place. It's tech. Yes. I used science. Yes. <laughs> no, but like literally specifically what though? How'd you do it? They're all in the Batcave in the chat, and Superman's like, uh, like he's he's just kind of like taking it all in that he like failed. And, uh, and he was also, like, addled by the experience. We're going to cut back. Don't worry. Oh, okay. That's what happened. It's just this is a storytelling device that Ben is <sighs> to use. Okay. So, uh, uh, but, but the, the, the new team is here of detectives. The world's greatest detectives. Including Manhunter <laughs> and Plastic Man. <laughs> you know what? I'm sick and tired of the Justice League solving everything. I, I, want, a, I want a different team. I want to do a spy thing. So, so Batman's the world's greatest detective because he always surrounds himself with, like, people who aren't detectives at all. Right. So he's like, oh, well, I'm always the best. Every group I'm in, I'm the best detective. Yeah. But he's also I the world's greatest, world's greatest detective. detective. Yeah. But he actually is the world's greatest detective. According to who? Well, according to uh, the world. <laughs> so uh, Superman goes, I'm going to need the room. Can everybody leave except for Ms. Lane and Batman? And Green Arrow's like, really? I've known you almost as long as Batman. Like, you're going to kick me out? And he's like, yeah. Really? Yeah. You're going to talk to your best friend and your wife? Oh, get right. the hell out of here. Yeah, get out. Leave it alone. It's, you're not at this level. Don't forget your baggage. So uh, they, If Wonder Woman were here, she could stay too, but she's not here. Yeah. So then, uh, you know, they're like, okay, Clark, what's going on? And he's like, I was right there, and I tried to look through his face, and it didn't work. And instead, it just, like, made me kind of, like, fall through, like, this, this kind of, like, temporal force, like... It was like he was hypnotized by Leviathan, but it's visualized through this, like, insane, admittedly spectacular-looking sequence in which Superman kind of, like, falls through some kind of, like, temporal space as a result of trying to look through Leviathan's mask. That, like, it causes this kind of, like, mental trigger in Superman. Like, what he saw in the mask, like... warp blew up his brain. Yes. Yeah. But it's not like he did look through the mask. Right. And no. saw Leviathan, and Leviathan like blew his itself mind. blew his mind. <laughs> no. No. It's, it's the a, fact it's that a, this is a defense it's mechanism. It's a deliberate thing, he, he Leviathan didn't hear created. hear Cthulhu's true name, <laughs> and then just fall backwards into madness. <laughs> <laughs> Although Leviathan is a Lovecraftian name, mm, so it yeah. should actually be. So, actually, oh, that's the most that's clever. thematically if, relevant thing yeah. that happens in this book. Yeah, he's like a he's like a techno Lovecraftian horror. So, in that in that one scene, anyway. In that one scene. So then, uh, when Superman comes to, everyone's gone. Of course, including Amanda Waller. And he's like, ah, crap. Yeah. So then Batman's like, well, so I guess they took Amanda Waller then. And then uh, they're like, well, what about uh, what about Sam Lane? And Bat- Superman's like, I keep zipping over there to check on him. Mm. Uh, but they don't want to move him because he actually is in bad condition. Right. And they're like, all right. So now let's then, just bring him to the Fortress of Solitude and use like a like a like, like, a, a, like a robot healing, thing to take care of him. Yeah, have Kellex take care of him. What, yeah. are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, the world's finest are having their conversation. The the B team is all uh, upstairs in like the kitchen, uh-huh. and they're just kind of talking about what bullshit it is. And they got benched essentially. Right. And, Why did uh, Superman bench? What do you mean benched? Well, because he wants to talk to Lois as husband and wife, and Clark and Lois are married, but Superman oh. isn't, and he's keeping it. They don't know that? Not everybody there knows it. So why do they think Superman wanted the room with Lois and Batman? Well, because they have a history, and they talk to each other, and Lois may have, like, clues oh. to... I to... guess, like, they think they're, like, friends. Yeah. You're not yeah. getting benched. It's a part of a conversation. It's going to be five minutes. Well, that, that's what Green Arrow essentially says to Manhunter, who's, like, complaining endlessly. Right. You know, he's like, it's Superman. Give him a break. Yeah. We're not in the top echelon. Let's not get to It's not like, grandeur. hey, can you guys leave the room? All right, you're not going to use that team anymore. Right. No, I'm just saying they're benched 
from the conversation. Yeah. But they're all talking about how, uh, you know, how they how they fit into this conversation. Apparently, like Manhunter was targeted too, and you know she had retired, but then like put the costume back on to kind of like combat this new evil. And uh, Damien is very suspicious of Manhunter. Yeah. He's like, "Where'd you get this tech? What is this?" And she's like, "Yeah, I don't talk to children." Like, you're a little baby boy, right. and you're really kind of obnoxious. Yeah, you shouldn't even be here. Yeah, like, I, we're, like the adults are talking right now. I'm sorry, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Damien. <laughs> well, I could say the same thing about you. People have heard of Robin. <laughs> okay, everyone's heard of the man Manhunters, just everyone also forgets us. Right, like, so, so what's your theme? You were relevant until you weren't and replaced by something more useful and popular? Is that, is that your whole power? Like, he doesn't say that, but that's what I'm saying. Right. I like that she pulls a, uh, a Ken. <laughs> I got a kid, man. Yeah, and they're like, oh my god, another one. <laughs> this, is my th- this is my motivation. <laughs> so Lois leaves without, com- without talking to anybody, and she takes one of Batman's cars. Not a Batmobile, a very expensive Bruce okay. Wayne car. Yeah. And uh, Silencer, another character, uh, is monitoring the, the, the manor with their sniper rifle, and they're seeing Lois Lane leave with one of... Bruce Wayne's cars, and he's like, why is Lois Lane leaving Bruce Wayne's stately manor? Yeah. Is Lois Lane banging Bruce Wayne? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, is, is she like a, a tabloid reporter? Right? And then... Uh, no, Silencer? S- Silencer's actually just like a hired gun. But uh, then Superman just blasts out the roof of, uh, <laughs> of Wayne Manor, and they're like, okay. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Why are they being so, like, like cavalier with Superman's identities? identity? By, like, going to his friggin' house. And right? Like, well, and using... Yeah, I, I don't know. Because Bendis doesn't care. So, then we cut to a minute ago, explaining why all that happened. Yes. Um, and what happened was, Bat... We have to cut back a minute. <laughs> we gotta keep You can't just back. have the conversation and then have no. Lois leave. We gotta no. have... It's all a mystery. Mysteries within mysteries. I don't know. I think we should start our stories where they begin, and not when they just get interesting. <laughs> get out. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Batgirl calls them. The reason why they need to be in Batcave is because Batgirl calls them on like a closed Batman frequency. Mm. She's like, hey, I'm in the headquarters of Leviathan. What? You know, like, because she was captured. She never really got freed. When Leviathan took her and Green Arrow. Oh. Like. Huh. Yeah. All right. So she's still in there. Yeah. Well, she, because, because Leviathan offered her a gig. Right. Leviathan that Green Arrow said no to when he kicked him out. That she was like, maybe. Oh, I see. Oh, because I was going to say, like, I did not know that. Green Arrow got no, out. Neither did anybody else. That's uh, just now. <laughs> okay. That just kind of, the conversation ended, and you didn't really see what happened. No. And it turns out she took him up on it. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Okay. okay. That makes a lot more sense as to why, like, Green Arrow got out and she didn't. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So she's, like, explaining, you know, I took the gig, and I, I think I'm the only one here who's actually undercover. Like, everyone else is has, is. Drank the Kool-Aid. Has drank the Kool-Aid. Right. They're all in on Leviathan for yes. some reason. And they're going to go for a big play in the morning. So, like, it's happening in the morning. And then Superman what? leaves. What's happening? Yeah. Well, so Superman leaves with Plastic Man to go get, extract Batgirl. Right. Okay. And the rest of the team has to go deal with Leviathan. So Batgirl is talking to them and Damien's like, who is Leviathan? Do you know? Right. And there's this pause. And then she goes, who's in there with you? Huh. And Batman's like, you can't see us? And she goes, and then uh, Superman and Plastic Man get intercepted, uh, and Lois Lane meets up with her team. Lois Lane has a secret other team of detectives and smart people that she's working with. So Lois Lane goes to an alley to meet with this team. Okay. <laughs> got, this book like, is demonstrating perfectly why Leviathan works. Yep. Because, yes, they're all one. Yeah. And, like, everyone else has their own freaking team, like all the superheroes do. Yeah. And that's freaking annoying as hell. Yeah, like, well, let's get the team together. Okay, I've got a secret team over here that we're going to... And I'm going to share that information with them. And and it's like, yeah, no, you've just demonstrated that Leviathan is right. That, like, none of this works. Because what's funny is, the only time these people become... Bravo, (laughs) Bendis. Well, because the only time when these superheroes are effective is when Lois' secret team and Batman's secret team join forces to become one team. So Lois' secret team of, of, of geniuses includes Deathstroke and Constantine and the Elongated Man and Detective Harvey Bullock. Yay! And uh, Zatanna and Renee Montoya, the question. Why would these characters ever Wait, work together? Wait, a different question? Yeah. 
Well, because Vic Sage was the question, and then when he died, he bequeathed the identity to Rene Montoya of the GCPD, and then New 52 and Rebirth. So it all happened, and none of it happened. Right. So there's two questions. Just like, God, okay. Well, there, there's multiples of many characters. Yes. But it just so happened that there was a time like when... Like there's four Green Lanterns. Yeah, but there shouldn't know. be more than one question, but now there but are. But now there is. Because there's no... Because Vic didn't die now. So Lois basically breaks down everything that's happened so far to her team. <sighs> and they're like, okay. So they're thinking that someone on their team is Leviathan. We broke down our list of subjects and we think that you're Leviathan. Who, and Lois? Lois? Yeah. And Lois is like, I called you. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Leviathan would do. Oh, this is rich. Oh, yeah. I'm. You're meant to help me solve this mystery and now you think I'm <laughs> Leviathan? Yes. Well, you said at the beginning of the meeting, trust no one. Yeah. <sighs> I took that to heart. Right? Why would Leviathan call together a group of people to figure out who Leviathan is? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah. Uh, it's just unless what it's, Leviathan would unless say. Unless it's just to prove that Leviathan is so good that even yeah. you can't figure it out. Yes. Right. And even if he d instigates people to figure out who he is, they'll never succeed. Right. So they're, they're you know, they're like, how does this, well, they're like, maybe this is linked with your father. I can't believe they're right. working with Deathstroke. I know. Well, he's a mercenary. Yeah. He's, he's like, like, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, they're like, she's like, no, Leviathan attacked my dad. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to kill my own dad. Oh, and he's so not like, dead though, is he? Yeah, but they don't, they don't, they're like, yeah, fair enough. And you even said, who has a good relationship with their father? Yeah, but that was Jason Todd, and he's not a part of this team. He's not part of any team. Yeah, but so, she had a conversation with him. But yeah, they're like, well, when was the last time you talked to your father? And she's like, my dad's not Leviathan. And they're like, well, let's go see him. So they like open a portal, and they go over there to check out like Sam. Meanwhile, yeah. she is talking to Superman and Batman via two-way radio, yeah. because she's funneling information to them too. Right. She's a double agent. And that's why Batman let her steal one of his cars, because, like, that car could be in radio frequency with Batman. Right. He's got the car bugged or whatever. Yeah, because Batman's like, maybe the maybe Leviathan's one of these people. Because Batman already knew that Lois was meeting with these people. And, and we'll have them on the channel, and, and you'll be okay with that. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So then, uh, you know, so she goes through the portal, and she goes to meet with her dad, uh, and... Her dad pulls out a gun and shoots well, her. He, so. he, he's awake, and she goes, Dad, why does everybody think you're Leviathan? And he goes, well, because uh, Lois, you don't get it. And she's like, oh, oh my crap. God, you're Leviathan. And he goes, no, it's because I know that Leviathan is right. Oh. And then... He's like, I am not Leviathan, but I agree with Leviathan. Yes. Okay. And then they get attacked by an agent of Leviathan. Right. Who's like, so he's them. in cahoots with Leviathan. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's more like... I think, because he keeps because Leviathan keeps trying to assassinate him, so it's more like. But the, are they he, really trying to assassinate him? I think so. Oh, okay. Because another agent shows up to assassinate Sam Lane, and he shoots Again. them too. And I think it's more that like Sam gets it, but like you shouldn't be in charge. Like you're right. Oh. But it shouldn't be you. Oh, right. Okay. And he knows who it is. is that an He's, implication. The implication is that he does, but he doesn't answer the question. Thank right. goodness all these Leviathan agents keep showing up when other people are also in the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I'd like to think that in the middle time, in the meantime, yeah. there have been like s seven other assassination attempts and every time Sam Lane just pulls out a gun well, and yeah. shoots them. I mean, yeah. just another one! Leviathan bodies, two out of two, like, he does that. I mean, like, yeah. Nurse! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they have to, like, climb over like the dead comrades <laughs> to get in the room. <laughs> it keeps happening. Yeah. So, uh, then apparently, like, the Leviathan agent had like a bomb on them, and it, which beeps to let people know that it's a bomb well, it's before like, it, it goes it's off. It's like a, it, I don't know, it's like flashing. Uh huh. And uh, he says, "It's a snowman's ticket. Look for the snowman's ticket." What? Uh, and then he dies, like because he shouldn't be jostled or moved or anything like that. Like it's just oh. he just dies. Does the bomb go off? The bomb does go off, and it's like a. Does it kill Lois? It's 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 a Leviathan temporal transfer bomb. So when it goes off, Lois and her dead father are transported someplace else. They're just like what? in the mountains. But, but I don't Why understand. Why is it just a bomb bomb? Z Zatanna said bomb diffused. Yeah, but it didn't work that way. So Sam Lane dies. The, 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 the big change, besides the fact that like all the spy organizations don't exist anymore, is that Sam Lane dies. Oh, wow. So Okay. Yeah. 
So uh, when Superman meets up... Oh, it's super serious now. I know. So Superman and Plastic Man, they're intercepted by Leviathan in this big, like, showy flash of force. It's the big event that Sam Raimi oh. warned about in the morning. Oh. And he's like, you know, Superman, like, we're not so different, you and I. Like, come on. You know I'm right. And he goes, like, let, let, I'll introduce myself. And so then he reveals what Leviathan is. And it's just, like, all the tech and resources of all those organizations under one banner. And it's, like, sky ships and armies. Where do they get armies friggin' and, flying giant Well, some of those ships. organizations had them. So they just, you know, painted a L on the side and called it a day. Oh, which organizations had them? Right? One of them. All Where? Of them. Some of them. Where'd they keep maybe them? They, maybe, they, maybe a couple of them were more mothballed because they were too showy, you know? I right. Know. They're like, oh, every time we bring these out, Superman just destroys them, so we'll just wait, wait until yep. we could actually use them. Yep, and then and that rainy day never came. And, yeah, and now... Now it's here, and, it, and, and their, you know, their loss is Leviathan's game. So Leviathan is like, you know, giving Superman the sales pitch. He goes, I'm not buying. What do you want? Like, what do you want from me? Yeah, what are you doing? What's the plan? You're obviously here for a reason. Yes. So then the the spy team gets together and they all pile into like a big Jeep. Which spy Sweet. team? The, oh, both teams. Now part, no. Yeah, both teams. No, is it no, both teams? No, it's just no. Batman's team. So Batman's team piles into a Jeep and they head towards the, the big commotion. The big Leviathan event. Where Where is that occurring? Chicago. Okay. Maybe so Chicago. they're all in the car. And oh, good. So they're in Gotham, and that'll only take bleh hours. Yep, yeah. exactly. Oh, good thing it wasn't in like Moscow or something. No. Like, oh crap, we, that's well, around the world. Well, then they would have used Justice League teleporters. Yeah. Something. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so Damien is just like being annoying in the car, rattling off people he thinks Leviathan might be. He's still trying to figure it out. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm thinking it might be Lois. Does it even matter, man? Like, Shut he's up. right there. We're just gonna go punch him. <laughs> Who cares who he is? <laughs> we'll have our answer in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Damien, Damien, I swear to God, I'll turn this car right around. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Leviathan is going on his thing where he's like, the world needs to change. And like, you know, not everything is up to you. Not everything's your problem. Let me handle it. I got it. I got the world. Why? Why you, would I let you get it? Right. Because. You're not doing a good enough job. Because look at my scary face. Right. And all my resources. I can do better than you. See. This is where, if it was Lois Lane, it would make sense. Because yes. she's like, I just want you to, like, slow down, Clark. Right. Have some time for and that'd be let cool. somebody and, else take over. And I'm sure people are probably thinking that while they're reading. But right. Because yeah. she's what she got temporally teleported or whoever, so she could be freaking anything or mm -hmm. anyone or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so, you know, they're just sitting there. And then out of nowhere, Damien turns back to Kate and he goes, you're Manhunter staff. And she's like, yeah, I know, you're a big fan. Because you keep taking it or looking at it. And he's like, how many other people had access to Manhunter tech? And she's like, what do you mean? And he goes, well, you weren't the first Manhunter. And he goes, she goes, no. And he goes, who else was a Manhunter? Who else has access to that technology? Who's using your staff to communicate and understand what we're doing and, how, and, and what we know already? And then uh, at that moment, Leviathan, like, alters the physicality of his mask so that Superman can see through it and it's revealed who he is. And as Kate is coming apart, being like, what are you talking about? Like, what, 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 what do you mean? What are you, why, why, are you, why are you being so, so judgy, you creepy little kid? Uh, their Jeep gets attacked by Talia and Silencer. Would you be so kind as to hand me your Manhunter so we can end this whole thing? Lois Lane is in a bunker now, and she's writing the story, and she's got it all figured out. And Superman and Green Arrow are there, and they're like, hey, are you okay? And, you know, Ollie's like, yeah, what's going on here? What's up with your dad? And, and, and Superman's like, give my wife a second. I'll love her. Please. She's like, yes, like my, my dad's dad. He's like, I know, I stopped. I didn't hear his heartbeat. And, uh, and she's like, can you explain to me, like, the Manhunter thing? And he's like, sure thing. Because three hours ago, <laughs> we go back again. And I thought there was going to be a funny thing where it's like, because each time was like 43 minutes ago, and then like up to about one minute ago. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be literally like 25 seconds ago. Right. Like it's just like we just keep counting down until yeah. finally we're up to a the bit present. Less, a little bit less. Yeah, until we're finally just telling it in real time. <laughs> but instead, um, Talia reveals to them that she's figured it out uh, that like the Manhunter tech that Kate Spencer's using is being used by. Leviathan, who has access to Manhunter tech, 
and is using it to funnel information, and she's like... And since Mantarder Tech is just a generic, oh, it can do anything, <laughs> it all talks to each well, other it's like, and it, stuff. Well, because sometimes the Manhunters that we've had in the past have used the dead old robot Manhunter Tech. Okay. So, yeah. So it's a Manhunter. So it's a Manhunter. It's, it's one of the Manhunters. One man of hunters. the Manhunters. one of the okay. five or six Manhunters that existed in the DC. That's why there's Manhunter like, characters in this book. Was yes. it a Manhunter robot or was it a Manhunter character? No, it's, a dude, it's one of the men who played Manhunter in the DC universe. Okay, so All that's right. why we have never talked about them. Yes. Got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. And that also explains why Manhunter is in the book. Yes. Right. Yeah, why we have this Manhunter person. That's cheap. So yeah. that so that he can use her to spy on our heroes and plausibly stay a step ahead of like Batman and stuff. Yes, and uh, she attacks them because she thinks that they think that she's, that she's part of it. Right. As so like, to oh, I gotta get the hell out of here because they're gonna like kill me or whatever. Yes. So they take her down. They like tase her, and she's knocked out. And they check on her, and uh, so then Batman assumes that the Manhunter staff is still communicating with. Right. Leviathan. So then Batman and Robin and in question have a sign language conversation so that the Manhunter staff will communicate only what they're saying and not oh. what they're actually planning. Yes. Yeah, so they can't, they don't reveal that they know. Yeah. Wait, so Lois's team found her, I guess, after the bomb went off? Yeah. And they bring her, Sam Lane, and themselves to Batman and Gotham and his team. And then they give, like, you know, they, they, they put Sam away. So then Zatanna teleports Lois from wherever she was with her dad to her team, and then all of them go to Batman in Gotham right. with his team, right. and then Zatanna teleports everybody to the Bat Cave, and then we cut back to the future where Lois is talking to Superman, Superman about the whole thing, about the whole thing, putting it together, and about how like about Manhunters and Superman kind of gives a very very crappy explanation about what Manhunters are, kind of like what I would do, <laughs> and. Uh, then Mark Shaw, Leviathan slash Manhunter, reveals to Superman. He's like, I'm Mark Shaw. I was Manhunter. You, you knew that if you read Manhunter in the 80s. All right. And he's like, come on, man. Like, I... Come on, just let me be Leviathan. Come yeah, on. you know the world sucks. And I know you know that because you've been fighting the never-ending battle longer You can than trust me. I was a good guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the idea here is that, like... This makes sense for Mark Shaw because Mark Shaw became Manhunter because he was sick of how crappy the justice system was mm. for crime. Right. For a minute, you said justice system. In my head, it was justice society. Nah, so he's like, I'm going to defeat you, Justice Society of America. You guys suck. Okay, so he, he's the same thing as like all of them where he's like, you just punch them, and then they go to jail. And then they get and out. And then they get out. Yes. Or they don't even go to jail because you didn't collect any evidence. Uh huh. For this stupid crap. Just, but you never, it, you never take better? down the organization, and when you right. do, another one pops up. Yep. Right. Yep. It's like whack them all. There will always be crime. Innocents will always like suffer because Nailed you it. won't just kill people. So if I can just direct crime in the right direction, I'll well, make the world a better place. If I can direct crime and governments. Because right. everything's run by these things anyway. So, like, now I'm... That's why I have sky ships and armies right. wearing the same helmet. Like, right. I'm taking over. Right. I'm going to roll in and take shit over. <laughs> 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 and uh, it's great because he has this whole thing with... with, with, uh, with, with and Superman. why would Superman let him do that? Oh, he's hoping Superman will listen to reason. That, until he got to the, like... I'm taking over the world thing? Like, maybe? He didn't at all at any point, and he's gotten the message already about Manhunter's headline. I get what you're trying to do. The fact that you're Mark Shaw... Doesn't help. Doesn't make me believe you and say, like, oh, well, no, this is fine. Yeah, you should take over every government on Earth. If we had confidence in you, Mark Shaw, Kate wouldn't exist. Yeah. So, uh, then... Zatanna and the whole detective team go from the Batcave to Chicago and team up with Superman, and they fight Leviathan. Nope, that's a mistake, because they're detectives. They're not... Well, the, it's already revealed. But we already established they're really not. Yeah. Well, the first they had to go and save Batgirl, which of course they do. And then, yeah. they, and then Batgirl shows up with the rest of them, and they all fight Leviathan. And Leviathan's great because, you know what? It, lo it turns out you guys just want this. You do this all, you just want to fight and punch all the time. Well, fuck you, Superman. And then he just bails. 
He's... Well, yeah, because he can't beat Superman. No. No. And he, and he pretends it's a moral victory by being like, oh, 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 I see, I see. You you get what I'm saying. You just want to punch me more. You don't want to just defeat me because I'm an asshole. You want to you beat me because you know I'm right, but you'd rather do the Superman thing. I get it. <laughs> You're an asshole. Well, well, and that's, then just fucking so he's blows like crazy ass and he That's yeah. like if the penguin was having like a giant like fe- like heist, and then at the end like Batman shows up to foil and be like, oh, oh, you're just gonna come in and ruin it because you just can't. You know what? You know what? I'm not even gonna give you the satisfaction. I'm just gonna go, and he just like gets in his penguin mobile <laughs> and leaves. Everything he's just gonna run away. Yeah. yeah. You know what? That's just what you. So do. You know what? I won. It, no, no. You you're doing the thing you do in every altercation we have, but this time you're trying to get ahead of it with some like bullshit, <laughs> childish moral victory. Well, how does he get away though? He just floats in the air, and some fun, cool, awesome coloring happens around him, and he's not there anymore. Why does the Superman go get him? I don't understand. Is he? Why does it? Why does a Manhunter, Kate uh, Spencer, or Kate Spencer, Kate's yes, Kate Spencer, Kate Spencer, Manhunter, just be like, oh well, it's Leviathan, or it's a uh, Manhunter tech, I can track it. Well, uh, it's ironic because because Bendis actually has the heroes go like, well, he got away, we'll have to find him another day, and then Talia's like, what's wrong with you? We should just trace his technology and go find him right now. What's what the hell? Yeah, is, he's right about everything. Oh my god, he's an idiot assholes. <laughs> and then Green Arrow tases her and knocks her out. He's like, Jesus. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. You're welcome. Her, she right? was starting to make sense. Yeah. yeah, and they're and they're talking to you know and like Lois is in a in a bunker or like, so a Lo- and so Lois is in her warehouse and she's writing a story and she's got Wi-Fi cl- somehow and she's talking to Perry via the computer and she's talking about she's sending him the, the article like in real time like here's the here's the big expose about who Leviathan is and what it's all about right. and they're talking about like how he's like what about your father's secret files on all the superheroes. What about like this, that, and the other thing? What about those, ta- those sky tanks? She's, no, no, no. That story for tomorrow. Today, it's who is Leviathan. The whole point of the event Leviathan is who is he? And we know who it is, so the story's over. That's a what? bad ending. She's like, the story is who Leviathan is. So we're going to focus on the fact that we now at least know who Leviathan is. We didn't defeat him. We didn't take him down. We didn't like cut out the teeth of his organization. We didn't even knock out a single one of those sky tanks. But we did find out who he was because he told us. So we're going to write an article about it. And it's going to be like a victory for ourselves. So boom. Leviathan revealed. It's Mark Shaw. That's not a victory. That you didn't figure it out. He told <laughs> he you. Also volu- yeah, he voluntarily revealed his identity to and Superman. And then left by his own accord. That's what? That's an embarrassing story to publish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the newspaper doesn't care if it embarrasses the superheroes. They're just saying what happened. Yeah. It's an embarrassing story for us to read <laughs> because the superheroes lost, basically. Yes, and it's great because he has a conversation, uh, Mark Shaw does, uh, with another one of his agents who's another superhero. Okay, we have to stop asshole. calling him Mark Shaw because just because Man it's Hunter. revealed that it's Mark Shaw. He's still matter. Leviathan. Okay, so Leviathan is yeah, having a conversation. that's his new super villain name. Yeah, Leviathan's having a conversation with another former superhero turned member of Leviathan who also agrees with him. Uh, incidentally, has no powers. And and this is the shit I can't stand. Now we know it's Mark Shaw. Now he doesn't have to wear the mask anymore. Yeah. No. He was Leviathan the whole book. He p- took on the, the personage of Leviathan yeah. Yeah. for the organization and all this stuff. Let him be Leviathan. Right. Don't try and be like, no, it's Mark Shaw. It's always, now it's going to be a story about Mark Shaw and his hat past yeah. history. No, fuck yeah, that. He's no. a more interesting character because no, he's I'm, an actual guy. Well, Leviathan's they, a cipher. But there's a big article about how I don't have to wear the mask anymore. So he's talking to, the, to, to Harper and he now says- Now I can look like David Bowie. Why'd you yeah. ever wear the mask? Because we could take over? Because half his face is like a horrible robot thing. Oh. Because he's really self He was embarrassed about it, but now he's not because he's in charge. What, I is guess. the Phantom of the goddamn Opera? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he says basically, they'd rather burn the world to the ground than fix it. And Harper's like, Is that what they said? <laughs> no, but he's. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. They're both assholes. And, <laughs> right. and Harper goes, Yes. And he goes, Fine. Like, okay. So I went from, We're going to change the world and I'm going to try and convince the superheroes that I'm right. Uh, okay, we'll just, we'll just kill everybody. Yeah. I'll be a superhero. Oh, they don't think I'm right? Well, maybe they'll all just die maybe then. They, maybe they are right then. How about that? Like, yeah. Oh, I guess I'm such a super villain. Okay, then here I guess we I'll go. Destroy the world. I might as well just be a super villain. <laughs> I just blew up Nicaragua. Like, <laughs> oh, this is what you want? No. What? Just stop. Just don't be an asshole. <laughs> nope. Either I'm right 
or, or I d and you admit it, or I destroy the world. They either give me the world, yep, or I have to kill them all. Yeah. Okay, now, so he's just a megalomaniacal oh, asshole. Yeah. He just no, so you're world. gonna become the thing that you hate. Yeah. So you didn't actually believe any of the stuff you said. No, you're just an asshole. Yeah. With a skin condition. By the way, uh, I should point out, as much as, yes, it's destiny. <laughs> the Mark Shaw Manhunter wore a metal mask and a hood. Oh. So, like, if you are a hardcore DC fan. Right. And you really like DC in, like, 1986, you might have thought, kind of looks like Manhunter. Okay. But... Only a little bit. Yeah, but only a little bit, and he still has that complicated thing. Yep, the, like the engineers from yeah. Prometheus. <laughs> That's cool, though. Or of, Destiny. A lot of because nose to mouth area stuff. This happening. whole yeah. thing with this little like stuff coming down on the sides of the mouth is yeah. what the Leviathan masks that are attacking Sam uh, Lane look like. That's right. Mm. They and look like fact, Gladiator. Uh, uh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's pretty. Hey. That's pretty, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's true. And by the way, uh, I'm going to make this book available in the description so you can buy it if you're so interested. Uh, but in the back of this collection, which will be available, uh, they also have art that like is a, in progress, like how they developed the Manhunter Leviathan suit. And I think it's kind of interesting because he does have like the kind of like pointy things in the yeah. in the initial designs. Um, but you know, if you're a Destiny fan, you might be able to go like, okay, well that's straight up just so so you started with Destiny, and then you were like, okay, well what, how can we make it? Visually distinct enough so that we don't get sued. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay. So at the end of the day. Literally the purpose of this was just to establish Leviathan as a new villain. We've created like, a new villain. This is like his origin story or whatever. We've created a new villain and. Oh my God, there, that one sucks. <laughs> there aren't going to be any more spy organizations. Right, until they wrap up the Leviathan arc at some point, and then they'll all come back. And, and, and they may do that in another book. Yeah. Because in... Uh, like, the reality is, like, as soon as somebody wants to friggin' write about one of those organizations again... a splinter again, organization that came out of Leviathan, yeah. or like, oh, you thought that you cr crushed Cobra? Well... You, can, you can't crush Cobra. Cobra runs deep. Our coils were around <laughs> Leviathan the whole time. <laughs> I mean, I expect that to happen at any point. The fact is, yeah. like, Bendis killed all of Kandor. He, he had Rogelzar, like, I don't know, crush it or something. And all these dead Kryptonians. And then Zod just took them all and dumped them in the Lazarus pit. Really? Yep. And then, so they were all crazy and stuff. And then Superman took them and put them into Kryptonian healing comas. So that they so, wouldn't be crazy so anymore. So one day... All of Kand half of Kandor, because only half were thrown into the, uh, into, the, into the Lazarus pit, will be back. Right. So it'll be like... It never, never happened. happened. Right. It's really just like Rogozar like, helped them like, thin out their numbers because they were overpopulated. There were just so many people. Yeah, actually, the, the, you, need a, you need a plague or some kind yeah. of like thing to call the herd every once in a while. Yeah, every, was, every 30 years, they got to wipe out half the Kandorians. They've only got one city. They can't go anywhere. There's no, there's no advancement. Although I guess I could just build them like a bigger city kind of like and connect it with hamster tunnels. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, all Star Superman handled it perfectly, where they just put them on Mars. He took yeah. the bubble off, he put it on Mars, he's like, you can expand the whole planet. Yeah, and you only take up, like, like 20 square feet. Exactly. In, the, in, a, in a thousand years. A thousand years. years, you will only take up the size of a manhole cover. <laughs> and you'll be super-powered. Yeah. Because you still get the, the, the yeah. yellow side. Yeah, no, this is perfect. It's, it's a, good, it's a cool. great idea. It was a great idea. I can't believe no one's thought of it, except for Grant Morrison. Oh, wait. That's brilliant. I'd love to see, like, the barn on Mon Pa Kent's farm. It's just full and there's of just, like, There's a little city, and then there's tubes to other little cities. So, like, they keep expanding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't stop them. We have to go somewhere. Right? Uh, I, I, Clark, like... take care of your people. <laughs> Did you remember to feed them today? Your sea monkeys are, are, are <laughs> revolting. <laughs> event Leviathan. <laughs> event Le Why is it called Event Leviathan? Because it's an event. And... and Event Do, does the news, like Leviathan shows up. Does the news story about it refer to it as the Leviathan event? No. No, they say who is Leviathan or Leviathan revealed. Those are the news we figured stories. out who it is. Because this whole story takes place within like That a, name makes no sense. What are you gonna do about, about Leviathan it? Leviathan that sucks. I, I wrote an article. I know. I wrote a scathing expose. Well, there. They could have called it Dateline Leviathan or something. <laughs> I don't know. Something Headline about, Leviathan. Because you, you ended it with like her story. So it's yeah. like, oh, it's all about like her. It all culminates in Lois Lane's story, expose about Leviathan. It could have been Leviathan revealed or 
the Leviathan Revelation, or I don't <laughs> Leviathan know. Leviathan Rising. <laughs> Anything, yeah. No. That's the laziest shit. I bet it is. I bet it was literally like, well, it's called, well, it's, it's the Leviathan event. And like, it was just called that, like in brackets, until we come up with a better name. <laughs> and then Danny Dio's like, <laughs> Yep. Salary earned. Perfect. Oh, fire. Ha I'm a genius. I'm waiting for this to culminate in the Leviathan Crisis. Oh. No. Like he brings about the next crisis because yeah. like the only way to put to really, an end to it all. That is Parallax and Zero Hour. <laughs> where he's like, I know, yep. no one agrees with me. No one wants me to take over the world. So I'll just I'll just reboot time and I'll be at the source of it so everything can happen the way I want it to. Yeah. Now, so that'll be the thing. The next thing is Parallax will be revealed. He'll infect Leviathan. <laughs> Yeah. He'll change now the, I'm the Leviathan. Yeah, the organization will change the Leviathan name to Parallax. Leviathan was stupid, yeah. but he had the right idea. Yeah. And that event will be called, like, Zero Hour Leviathan Crisis. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Leviathan yeah. Crisis Countdown to Zero Hour. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes. Zero Hour 2. Yeah. The Leviathan Crisis event. This is... It's... All these are terrible. <laughs> No, the, the fact That's what is... That's they should do. They, they I don't know what the hell they're going to do. And neither do they. Right. They're just like, oh, I just wanted to combine all the... Yeah, this story didn't have an ending. No. No. It wasn't really even a story. It's what just like what the, happened? It's just the first part of the Leviathan saga. Yes. Or the first part of what the What will new later be referred quo. to as the Leviathan... Yeah. Because, like, what happens? Some asshole shows up and says, I'm taking over everything. And he says it to, like, three different people at three different times. Those three people meet and talk about it. And then... He they, reveals who he is at the end. And well, then they chase then, their own tails until he tells them the answer. Right. And he, he finally... He tells the answer to all the heroes, expecting them to go along with him. They don't. He runs away. So, this is a question that has to be answered. Somewhere in the history of DC Comics is that, what's Sam Lane's connection to Mark Shaw? Right, I don't think there is one. I think it's just that Sam Lane came across... Oh, yeah, and Sam Mark Lane also died. Yeah, in the death of Sam Lane. Yeah. Oh, no. A character that, when I was in my, like, teens, I thought was already dead. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's, like, incidental to what's happening in the book. Yeah, Because, no, like, Sam Lois Lane... doesn't care. I mean, it's no, her but, father, uh, but she, yeah. at no, the same she's time... Sad, but like... She's sad, yes, but it's, it's not like this is... This was her linchpin. This wasn't her tether to the world. No. No. But, uh, no, Sam Lane's connection to Mark Shaw is Sam Lane came across Mark Shaw's plan, agreed with it, but still felt he needed to take it down. Right. Well, I assume that somewhere that, like, there was history where he's just like, I know who he is. No. I think it's more like Mark, maybe he was going to take out Sam because he's like, no, you're part of the old regime. You may agree with me, but you're part of the problem. Right. <sighs> Either way, who cares? I mean, it's. I, I have to assume that a decision was made to kill Sam Lane, Sam Lane and a decision was made to combine all the <laughs> evil organizations into one organization, yep. and they're like, just put it together, do it in one book. Uh, they could have easily killed together. Amanda Waller, but she's too important. She's she's too popular. She's yeah, too po yeah, exactly. Nobody gives a shit about Sam Lane. No, the the here. Okay. To hear Bendis tell it, and he told me this. Okay. The Dio said, do a thing with the spies. Yeah. And Bendis is like, okay, I'll I'll destroy it. Right. Like, I'll put it all into one thing. Like, I think that the whole thing is, is yeah. Bendis' idea and just no one's going to get out of his way. Why does Sam Lane die in it? What does that have to do with that thing? Because Bendis is in charge of the Superman books and he thought it'd be a juicy thing to put into the stories so that he could write about that when it's all over. I see. Then he can have Lois dealing with... With the trauma of her father passing. Right. And Superman's like, my parents died. Well, like... But yeah, but you had, yeah. like, adopted parents, too, and they were alive. Well, they weren't when this was happening. Really? They were dead, yeah. Yeah, it's New 52. They kept that. Ah. Uh. John and Martha were dead. They died in an auto accident. So now everyone's parents are dead. Well, and J jor -El came back to life and then kidnapped their space oh, son. yeah, and that's right. Then I think he died also. Yeah, Either nobody way. gets any parents in the Superman universe. Not oh. Batman, not Lois, not Superman. Nope. nope. No one needs an awkward Thanksgiving. Because we're... Because all the writers are in their 40s and 50s and their parents are all dead. Right. <laughs> I can't relate. So write them out. <laughs> Event Leviathan by Benison and Maliev. Check it out if you want. Uh, 
when you're reading it, it actually is not a page turner, but it is hmm. it's engaging. It seems like it moves along. The Malieve art is excellent. Yes, yes that's the yeah, thing. The art is, Malieve's awesome. art is great. Yeah, the backup great. stuff that's in the beginning yeah. where it's like yeah. throwing other stories into uh -huh. it. The art's not great. It, it's it, well, it's an acquire. It, it's like, just different. You get Paquette. You got uh, I don't remember who draws the Jimmy Olsen story, but I like the art in those stories. But it's incongruous to the story. Like yeah, it's, it's not it's not fit, and you don't need them. Well, these characters don't even appear. Like there's a whole thing with Supergirl, and she doesn't even show up. That's right. In the event, like where does she go? Yeah. Like why put her in these like intro stories? It just begs the question of like, oh yeah, why doesn't Supergirl help? No, look, help? Manhunter. <laughs> I really wish you hadn't shown me that. <laughs> there, I drew it after the fact. God damn it. Well, then just See, put there's that little page. clues. Oh! -ho! Ah. So weird. Yep. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So long. It's like that episode of Mad About You. You know, it's like it's the secret apartment that you keep just in case things don't work out. I like that what? you made a reference to a show that no one was gonna know. <laughs> I mean, I did There's watch no that way show, you guys didn't watch but that it about you. was well, twenty here's years the ago. Well, to a show you have watched. Ready for this? So Paul Reiser's character, he has this secret apartment that he kept. How? You know, oh, he sublet it. Oh, okay. And Helen Hunt is all like, "You need to get rid of it because we're in it for the long haul." Didn't right. you hear the song? So there, so <laughs> there's this this point of contention in the episode right. where he has to. If you don't believe of, in the relationship. You have to get rid of the apartment. You have to get rid of the apartment, yeah. So he does, and he goes back. That's to just the, a poor financial decision. I though. agree, <laughs> but it's, you know, listen, it's love, baby. So Paul Reiser goes back to the apartment, and who's subletting it? Kramer from Seinfeld. Oh. Yeah, that Paul Reiser owns Kramer's apartment and sublets it to Kramer. That's huh. fun. Yeah. It doesn't work in continuity, of course, because later on it'll be revealed that Mad About You is a TV show in the Seinfeld universe. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I think that NBC was just excited about the idea of creating like an NBC televised universe. Yeah. yeah. And the like, like somehow it's connected. Well, I'm sure Larry David was like, that sucks!